What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Rugged Tyros. My name is Francis and a Tyro is a beginner or a newbie. Come with me as we learn and explore the great outdoors. Welcome to my kitchen guys. Today I'm going to be cooking poor man's lobster that I caught from Gull Lake about a month ago. Yes, fresher fish is always better, like the closer you cook it to catching is a ton uh, tastier, but I froze this because at the time I just had too much food going on. Let's get started. Alright guys, so setting up this batter is really simple. All you'll need is two cups of flour, one for dredging and one for mixing into the batter, one teaspoon of black ground pepper, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and salt or whatever herbs you want to adjust to your taste, beer, of course, and fish. I cut mine up before the video to save some time. Oh yeah, and you can't forget the fries or the chips. It honestly doesn't matter what kind of beer you use. I'm not biased to any kind of beer. I just like this because it's five of diamonds. It's a fisherman uh, friendly uh, beer. It's made locally here by Blind Man Brewing, not a sponsor, and yeah, I, I like the flavor, it's really good. You're gonna love this dish, it's really good, it's really good eating. So I'm starting by preheating the deep fryer. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cook the fries first. I just use frozen fries because it's fast, it's easy. Uh, the type that I use have the skin still attached to them. So I preheated my deep fryer, now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the fries in. And we'll let that cook for about five to eight minutes. All right, so while the fries do their thing, I'm gonna go ahead and start the batter. So the quickest way to do this is just, you dump your flour into a bigger bowl. Your garlic powder and your pepper. And then you're gonna to wanna to whisk your egg before dumping it in here. Make sure you don't leave any shells in your eggs. Once you're all whisked up, go ahead and put your egg into your batter. And now this is kind of where the magic happens. So you're gonna take your beer and you're gonna slowly pour as you whisk. That way you can get the right consistency. When I used to work at a restaurant as a line cook, I learned from a friend that the best consistency is when you start getting ribbons. Cheers. So once you get to your desired consistency where it starts to kind of stick to the whisk, that's good ribbons. So the fries should be good by now. So we're gonna let these kind of just sit for a minute. So once they're drained, dump it into our bowl. I keep it really simple. I basically just salt it with a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so now that we got the consistency that we want, we're gonna pull the fish, we're gonna grab our dredge, and then we're gonna start frying these suckers up. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna dredge it, so that way it adheres to the fish better, the batter, and then we're gonna drop it in the deep fryer. So basically we take the fish, Then we coat it, then we coat it in the batter. And 
Then it goes directly to the deep fryer. And I usually do that on high heat until it's golden brown. And basically we just repeat that over and over until we have all the fish fried. Now while those are doing their thing, I'm just gonna cut up some lemon real quick so that way I can spritz it over it and have kind of like a garnish. So we have a couple pieces that are good now. Now just to get them all done. So as the last little bit cooks, I'm gonna plate up, I'm gonna start eating, I'm hungry. And boom, just like that, delicious fish and chips. So we're gonna try one of these pieces out. Beautiful, flaky, I love it. Little spritz of lemon. Some tartar sauce. Cheers. Oh yeah. Totally. Ha. So good. All right guys, that's it. Sweet and simple. Poor man's lobster, burbot, fish and chips. This video is brought to you by Connected to the Land. Connected to the Land was created to bring Canadians together during a time of isolation. Connected to the Land has articles and videos on a variety of topics including gardening, recipes, DIYs, hunting, and ice fishing. Don't forget to check out Connected to the Land's podcast to hear how everyday Canadians are connecting to the land. My wife's watching a movie. Did you like it? It's good. You have some on your lips still. <laughs> I hope you guys found this video as entertaining and as fun as I enjoyed making it. If you like this video, go ahead and share this video, hit that like button, and then hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for more notifications from the Rugged Tyros only here on Tequila Creative. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you soon.